So, you're looking for an easy way to generate 3D models from your 2D images. Not a problem. Now, this is a sponsored video, but of course, as you know, here on the channel, I don't like to convince people with words. I just show results and let people decide for themselves. So, I'd like to share the results after testing the different softwares of Trellis, Rodin, and Tripo head-to-head -head against each other. So, here is what I've seen. This is a test of a generated shield in Trellis, and here is that same shield in Rodin, and here is that same shield in Tripo. Now here is that same test with the helmet in Trellis, Rodin, and Tripo. Now here is a character test in Trellis, Rodin, and Tripo. And just for good measure, here is another more complicated character in Trellis, Rodin, and Tripo. Now, after all of these tests, I think it's worth mentioning that while it's pretty obvious that Trellis is the worst quality, it is also completely free and can be run on your machine locally, so I think it's okay to cut it a little bit of slack. But when we get into the paid options like Rodin and Tripo, they seem to have slightly different goals. Tripo's main focus is to maintain and generate a 3D model that is as faithful and as close as possible to the original proportions and pose of your reference. Rodin, on the other hand, uses the original reference and tries to interpret it as a new standalone object. So when you upload an image like this into Rodin, you get something that looks more like the A pose of a game character. When you upload something like this into Tripo, you get something that looks more like a tabletop game 3D printable character piece. So it has different functions, it kind of depends on what you're going for, but I would say the main difference is if your goal is to try and print 3D printable objects that are as faithful as possible to the original reference proportions and pose, Tripo definitely accomplishes that a lot more consistently. If instead you're trying to translate an image into what might be a game character, that seems to be what Rodin's topology is designed for. It is worth mentioning that Rodin starts you off with six free credits when you sign up, which allows you to generate 12 models, but Tripo starts you off with 600 credits, allowing you to generate up to 24 models. So both of them allow you to test their services for free, but Rodin only gives you 12 free generations, while Tripo gives you about 24. Now both Rodin and Tripo take similar amounts of time to generate models, but if you become a monthly member on Tripo, the time does speed up to be about somewhere between a minute and a half to two minutes and a half to generate. Now, if you watched our last video when we were testing Rodin, one of the problems you might remember is it would tend to stretch the models a little wide and kind of soften and stylize the designs a little bit. And this was evident when we were dumping a helmet into it. And we could see that the shape of the visors went from this to this. But when we threw those exact same models into Tripo, you can see that it actually retained the original shape of the visor and didn't try and stylize it into a softer square. And I learned that part of the reason for this is because Tripo very recently made a big update to their topology algorithm, which made it significantly more accurate and efficient. Now, since Tripo's specialty after the 2.5 update is accurately capturing geometric structures, proportions, and shapes, personally something that I found it particularly useful for is rapid character prototyping. So let's just say that you wanted to quickly test to see what your character would look like with different types of armor or different types of helmets or shields. Well, Tripo makes it really easy to just quickly test that without you having to make every single model from scratch. Some other things that I thought were kind of nice about Tripo was not only can you generate a model from an image, but you can actually generate a model from multiple images if you give it the front, left, back, and right view to get even better results. So if you have like a proper character sheet, this might be a better option for you. You can also just do the raw text to image to describe exactly what you want the model to look like as well. And another thing that I really like about Tripo is they have poured a significant amount of resources to make their services compatible with other software like Unity and Blender, which I find extremely important because I think cross software compatibility is something that a lot of companies tend to overlook. But the fact that Tripo willingly created a plugin directly for Blender is a very good sign that they care about their services being friendly and accessible to a vast majority of the 3D artists in the world. So what does this process actually look like? Well, it's pretty simple, but I'll go ahead and walk you through it. If you want to try it out for free, just follow the link in the description and use the promo code 98PMTO. This is very important because after some back and forth, I was actually able to negotiate some perks for you guys if you sign up through my community. See, normally you only get 600 credits when you sign up, but if you go through my code, you will get an extra 500 credits for free, which is almost double what everyone else gets. So seriously, just use the code these are free credits that you can just try out for yourself and have fun with no risk at all. Once you've signed up, you can describe what you want to generate here, or you can use multiple images from a design here, or you could just do a simple one image upload and then click here to generate. 
It's also worth noting that it does significantly better with armor, shields, helmets, or hard surface style things. It can do faces, but usually you have to do them separately. If you try and do a whole character at the same time, you're probably gonna have to manually fix the face. But like I said, if your character is wearing a helmet, then usually it's gonna give you a pretty good preview. Regardless, when it's done, on the right, you will see multiple options for the level of topology that you wanna export it to. You can choose low, medium, or high poly. You can change the type of destination over here. And you can also change the export file type right here. Download it, bring it into Blender, and it might look a little funny, but pro tip, anytime you see a triangulated model like this, all you gotta do is select it, go to edit mode, press A, and then press Alt J, you're done. The triangles are gone, and from here you just go into sculpt mode and poly model like normal. So I hope that helps, thanks for watching, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around. Oh,